You're at Michael LaHood's Club Rubicon in Atlantic City for some training instruction by Sean Ray. One of the three exercises that I use in my bicep routines are the concentration curls. This, this is an exercise I can do standing or seated. Usually I finish my biceps with this exercise. Once again, it's very important to get the stretch at the bottom and to squeeze it at the top. I know it sounds repetitious, but this is how it's got to be done if you want to maintain and build up a nice peak on your bicep. Let me demonstrate. Now, there's a lot of variations here that you can use. Some people choose to put their hand across here and rest their elbow on their, on their wrist. Sometimes I do mine this way, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use preacher curls instead of this. This way would be done like this, straight ahead, just as if you were doing it on a preacher bench. The long stretch and the squeeze at the top. Usually when I do this exercise, I focus all my attention on my bicep. I'm not doing it looking in the mirror to see what it looks like. I'm looking right directly at my bicep. I'm in tune with what's happening. Another variation would be to rest your elbow just on the interior side of your thigh and do it across your body this way. You can really see the peak as you bring it up and squeeze. It's important to get the stretch at the bottom. Even if you want to hyperextend it, twist the weight at the bottom and then contract it at the top. Once again, there's nothing to see in the mirror and there's nothing up here. I want to look and concentrate and focus on the peak of my bicep. No jerk in motions to get the weight up. It does you no good. Concentrate. This is not an exercise that you need 50 to 60 pounds to build a nice peak on your biceps. Take deep breaths. It'll get the blood going through your veins. Don't hold your breath. That's one thing you don't want to do. You can develop a headache that way. Okay? And this is an exercise, once again, that if you don't, if your grip's not very good and your, arm, your, your forearm starts to fatigue, Use straps, it's not gonna hurt you at all. Sean is now preparing for the 1988 IFBB Night of Champions in New York City. The pros better watch out for this newcomer on the block. He's ready to do damage. One of the major movements in my chest routine consists of flies, incline flies and flat bench flies. Today I'm gonna demonstrate incline flies for you. Now the key here is to get a good stretch at the bottom and a nice strong squeeze at the top. I'll do a few repetitions and then I'll let you know why, why and what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's really stretch the innards of your pecs. This area right in here is going to get a real stretch, so make sure you warm up real, real well with light, lighter weights. When you get to the top, you squeeze it and blow all the air out. That's going to develop this in here, the upper pecs. Okay, this next exercise is an exercise I just recently implemented into my training for the 1987 Nationals. Uh, before, I was basically into the straight barbell because I could press a lot more weight, but I found that using the dumbbells, I can stretch a little further down. But since starting with the dumbbells, I can concentrate a lot more on the feel and the movement of the exercise. I'll demonstrate a few repetitions for you. It's important to squeeze at the top of this exercise as well as to get a good stretch. Envision it as a straight bar as you come down past, the, past your chest a little bit that is an added advantage of using dumbbells. Concentrate on upper pecs. It's important not to turn this exercise into a fly motion, which is out here. Keep the dumbbells parallel and come straight down. Squeeze as far as you can. 